Hello, it's me again, and um, we're back um, to the studies of uh, the books that we were talking um, last time. Um, we are um, enjoying the, the hot weather, and we are really in full summer, and we really praise the Lord to to give us um, a lot of summers like this to lose weight. <laughs> But anyways, bless the Lord. Uh, we were talking right in regards of uh, the books that we were um, entering, right? And we didn't have anything else but just to praise the Lord for all the things that happened around the generations of all these kings who eventually went astray, take, taking and thinking that resources could last for a long time and we saw right how the people ended up right with the cities dirty filthy with a lot of people coming from other countries dumping their ill right and dumping the and the and the elder and bringing uh, a lot of orphans and children's right and where the resources uh, 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 wouldn't last for a long time, right? We found out all these problems because um, the problems coming out from uh, from all these kings, right? Which was um, uh, the inheritance of the lack of agreement in between the heads of the families, which were the powers really, you know, it's just like now we have the um the courthouse uh, with the you know uh with all the lawyers and everybody has to agree and, and you know it's just like our, our, our court service right when people don't agree to have uh the things done the way they have been doing it right and that's how uh the the society during this time was split and uh, not tolerating the people in command, they went astray, you know, uh, giving themselves to uh, annoying. Because um, to be in power is not a very nice speech that you can give, right? It's not uh, like a $100 you can go and just buy whatever you can and just uh, purchase little things and put in... <laughs> And in your uh, food basket, because you know that around the clock, uh, the calendar, you're going to have your paycheck, right? Uh, the problems, and, and, and estamos diciendo nosotros, ¿verdad? Que los problemas que, que, que estaban en el tiempo de, de los reyes, era, era una enfermedad crónica, ¿verdad? Porque este, tenían ya este ciudades este tirando a sus viejitos ahí esa esa ciudad estaban ya este tirando los huérfanitos estaban tirando a sus enfermos verdad que es este una cosa este que cuesta mucho dinero y especialmente si no tienen dónde vivir vivir verdad vivir entonces vemos este cómo es que las gentes este, they were really taking advantage, right? It, it, reading in between the lines, they had a lot of habibus. Eh, quiere decir que eran este, sangres mezcladas, o sea, eran, eran este, paisanos de muchas tierras, ¿verdad? Eran como este, mexicanos con americanos y, y con puertorriquianos, con nicaragüenses, panameños, este, argentinos y americanos, y, y se iban hasta allá, hasta Alaska, y se regresaban hasta Hawái, andaban en bola, ¿verdad? Porque, because uh, we are saying that uh, the, the problem with those kings, it was that they were already mixed. It's just like uh, in the name to give to the mixed race, uh, mixed with the Jew and and people from other places were called Habirus, ¿verdad? Que son, este, como decir, Tex-Mex, como decir, este, eh, puertorriquianos, ¿verdad? Como decir, este, and not really the name that they really have, right? <laughs> and so, the people were not instructing 
the new citizens and the people coming in or dropping by into the cultures and into the um, the, the traditions, right? Because the tradition were commanded by the highest authority, which was the Lord, right? And so that was the problem, right, that we see, right? It was not literally mentioned, but as we stand back, step back and see the picture from, an, from a, a bigger view, you, you get to see, oh, but all these things are happening, all these things were happening, oh, it's because it's happening around, because there are different cultures, because people don't agree, because people fight, because people don't even speak the same language, people have their tradition, their beliefs, their loves, right? So the people were very split, right? They were very split. And that's how um, uh, um, these kingdoms fail. They lord the guard, they let the stranger walk in with uh, no business whatsoever to pr produce a lot of um, filthiness around because they didn't have where to live, producing a lot of garbage, you know, producing um, a lot of theft with that, right? Producing um, um, all kinds of illegal business, right? That the Lord didn't agree that they should have, right? And as the people, Lord, the God, the prayers were not done, the sacrifices were not done, the rebuking of illness were not done, which means that people became unclean and the entire city became unclean, right? I am very sure if the health department could go back then, they will become very rich, right, and millionaires because they would give or issue a lot of tickets, right? And so just like that, right? So eventually when the enemy seriously came to take what it was worth it from around there, when they saw that their citizens didn't care for the country, they just uh, slammed at everybody and they just burned the city right, because it was needed, right, the city, it was in bad conditions, and the city was in bad conditions, so they have to bring uh, clean lines and healthy lines, right, in order to, to have something better, so what they did as the and stranger and the enemy beat up everybody in the city, right, so the the um, the authorities took all the youngest ones right uh, to be to sell the people for the prices that they were interested right and the elder were taking for uh, to work for the agriculture taking advantage of their knowledge and and how they do in order to work and they were taking uh, as captives right and they were slaving again after they received this great blessing <laughs> of have um, the the promised land with you know with all this perfume to walk in and all these ceremonies so you know because they walk into this city like a millionaires they had all the most precious perfumes and spices in their clothing as they walk in so they they everybody were thinking that they were just coming from the from the heaven right and so, as we say, right, that um, they, they were sold out, the youngest one were sold out, right? Uh, they, some of them were captives, and, and, and just, um, and another ones were uh, uh, human trafficked, right? And uh, the elders were just, uh, uh, you know, place in, into the uh, fields in order to produce crops and stuff like that to make, make clothing for authorities and you know so by that time uh, we had the great the great kingdom of um, Babylon right and that's how eventually uh, all this story uh, in between what well, we're going to keep on talking moves around right which were um, social minds from the Babylon when, when they came to conquer uh, these uh, great lands. Uh, they, they made it, um, they put a lot of beauty into it. 
and there were a lot of gardens in it and um, and the Nabucodonosor was in charge right and the other one it was Cyrus Cyrus was after the the Chronicles right um, at, at the end of Chronicles right the, the the book of Chronicles, right, is is uh, the ones that we're talking about. Um, this book is a little bit, uh, a lot of uh, the the theology students they just pass by with the flying colors, with all these books because they are just talking about the uh, the um, the family trees, right. And this was in order to find out which people were present from the families that are supposed to be there, right? And how many people add to the different kinds of uh, uh, families, right? Chosen families who are supposed to be there also, right? And it was like uh, numbers. That I remember that we were talking that there, 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 by the when when the people had to go into the promised lands, uh, uh, the land, um, Moses went into a, a census, right, in order to count and see how how many good uh, people he was uh, counting with, especially uh, good and healthy people for the military, right? And it happens around here also, right, that there was a census going on um, that uh, uh, the people, right? The prophets around there, right? They went in to uh, write the names of everybody and who was with and in order to uh, uplift and to protect the widow and the orphan and to help people for the military, right? And that's how um, uh, uh, they had, and they were beat up all the time. They uh, lost everything and eventually they lost every single thing uh, the people with all these kings they were rich I mean they have like a 1,000 uh, plates small plates and big plates they took about thousands they went to build the luxury of silverware right and silver and gold right of any kind gold their tables, I mean, and everything was nicely adorned. Everything was gold. They have uh, statues. They had uh, knives. They had uh, candeliers. They had uh, um, they had um, um, their pots. Their um, you know the everything. Everything was gold, right? And, and that was something really nice. And uh, because we always know that gold is. Nobody will come become allergic to gold, right? If everybody will uh, want to become very healthy, they'll use and, and, and they'll cook in gold pots and, and, and they'll serve their food in gold dishes and have their gold spoons because that's the idea, right? To avoid um, any kinds of allergies and to avoid any kind of pest, right? And so, we said right that by the time or that um by the time that they were uh, beat up and uh, all the people coming over they were extracting and extracting gold and you know uh, pictures and statues and and uh, you know uh, all kinds of furniture I mean, it was gold right and so all this stuff uh, was returned when in the book of Ezra, right, because we jumped at the book of Ezra because we're already saying that Chronicles talk about all kinds of wars and all kinds of beat ups and, 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 and they were not very strong. They were not, um, they were all the time fighting with uh, the surrounding neighbors and, and it was very strange the way the people was surviving with the kings and the sons and daughters uh, coming out from the chosen people, right? A lot of them were killed and they died uh, because they didn't command the people right. They gave up and they stopped from reminding people, from telling people what to do because they were taking the things personally, right? They forgot that it was the Lord that we, they, they should go and tell them what the people was uh, working on and doing 
so that these cousins were not coming straight to their families, right? The thing is that once when we know that the person is in charge, um, there, the problem and when there is something that is causing problem, it's not the the problem, right, of uh, uh, just uh, be quiet and forget about it and just let them kill, kill themselves and whatever, whatever, right? If they don't work, they're going to starve, right? If they don't... Uh, you know, get up and clean their things, eventually the worms are gonna eat them, right? And so that, that was the thing with, with the with the kings, right? When the idea, according to what we know, it was to come to the Lord and tell them, Lord, these people is not obeying. We don't know what's going on. There might be a mental health. There might be some sort of bad spirit that is haunting them, right? And, and, and we would like to beat up all these kind of uh, problems that are around in order to to avoid uh, um, uh, confrontations from the kings with the people and stuff like that, right? And they were not uh, calling the Lord for uh, to ask for help, right? And that's how we see that the distribution of the goods were not going all the way down to the orphan and and then the distribution of the wealth right and the ways to help the sons of god right it was not a very well specified right there and that's how things had to be destroyed because that's the future that's the end of all the things that are not very well administered and all the well uh, uh, keep care, right? When somebody don't keep a good eye on it, you know, in other words, um, somebody else comes and break it, somebody else comes and take it, or it's just not going to work good anymore, or it's just, uh, you know, it gets it gets destroyed, right? And, and, um, that's that's uh, one of the things that we know that happens to things right when you don't care for them right uh, just the storm can come over and it just can wipe everything out and the bad weathers and everything if you don't cover them if you don't clean them if you don't recharge them if you don't do what is supposed to be done with those things eventually they just are garbage so that's what we're talking right around here and so those people, right, were already wasted because they didn't learn their cultures very well because they were practicing <clears throat> witchcraft. We say that witchcraft is the same thing that everybody knows half way, half the way. When people just go and do things half away, it's a witchcraft, right? Um, it's just like if, if, if these people it's just for example if the, the priests you know they were to just get the, the little bird to, to give it right <clears throat> uh, in the altar to the Lord for the forgiveness of the sin if they were just chopping the head without burning and without anything and just throwing a lot of birds on the side without care. That's a witchcraft, right? And we heard that a lot of people were just priests of whatever kind of religious ideas and cults and, and they were just chopping off the, the heads of any kind of roosters or chickens and spread all the blood around any kind of dead person or whatever the thing it was, right? And we see that it might look the same like uh, those priests in the times of, of, of Moses, right? But what happened around this place, right, is that they didn't really learn the thing because they didn't know how to read and write. And they were living in other places, maybe in surrounding areas, right, because usually the witch right, is living outside the city, an isolated place where nobody comes and bother, right? And then you go over there and you find out that these people are very strange and they know uh, very strange things and that's how is 
that uh, the, that that all these things happen, right? So eventually, all these people passed away, every single body. And the youngest one, the priest who learned how to read and write the language, right, the Hebrew language, right, the Israeli, Israelite, Israelites, right, because there was uh, the, the Jewish people and the Israel, Judeans and the Israelites after Solomon's death, right? And then um, the, the people uh, um, was taken captives and eventually they 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 start singing the the songs right by the rivers of babylon right we want we have one in english right by the rivers of babylon right? where we sat down everywhere when we remember zion it's a very nice song that used to be sang right uh, uh, and um, it's a very nice song. Uh, there is another song, right, that are sung by other singers in Hebrew. Very nice, right? And and all these people um, were, uh, you know, praying and gathering together in order to to get out from Babylon. And eventually, right, as as people left. Um, the, peop the city got cleaned, the, all the pests, on, all the lies, all the dirt and everything was cleaned out and wiped away because uh, it is intolerable when when the, the people destroy the city knowing that somebody else can come over and destroy and take people captives if they are not strong enough or understandable. In, in regards of that the cities have to be clean because that's where the Lord passes by, right? And so it happens once and twice and three times and all the times because people is not watching, right? Not even for the basic things. And so we see Ezra, which is the next book, right? The, that he is appointed to come over and rebuild the burnt city because the city was left behind, burnt with uh, with everything stolen, even the stones from several uh, fences from the wall of the city. It was the uh, people really um, stole the the stones and they did too much bad around there, right? And 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 so Ezra's went around taking from the from the treasures of Babylon all the the pots all the dishes all the gold all the candeliers everything that he was taking from the city it was returned um, when Ezra came in to make the diplomatic trip in order to bring the resources to build the city right Cyrus was the king uh, who ordered Ezra right uh, to come over and bring the money and to have plenty of resources in order to to have a transportation cars uh, elephants uh, camels and horses and donkeys and whatever that it was needed in order to help the people right and, and, and have the work done for the Lord right and, and uh, Cyrus were very, was very blessed right uh, as a foreigner authority, he respected the word of the Lord and he was very blessed. We see uh, that we have um, uh, the, the book of Job, right? We, we, we see, right, uh, that it's another book that is in the Bible, right? Uh, a Job, which he was uh, a loyal to the Lord. And um, the Lord was very proud that this uh, gentleman was loyal to him. Uh, uh, apparently, he was a very healthy man. Aparentemente, Ezra, ¿verdad? Estamos diciendo que Ezra, ¿verdad? Es este, el, eh, después de que se acaban, ¿verdad? Las crónicas y que el, el pueblo de Dios este, se lo llevan cautivos por no cuidar sus cosas, ¿verdad? Eh, después de andar ahí con bastantes guerras y, 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 y bastantes fracasos, ¿verdad? Porque la gente no estaba de una sola mente, 
no se estaban entrenando bien, más bien estaba la gente dividida y la moral estaba muy baja, ¿verdad? que eran muchos inmigrantes, los inmigrantes no aprendieron la cultura, lo cual este, trajo maldición a la vida de este, las gentes. Entonces vemos nosotros, ¿verdad?, como este, después de un tiempo, ¿verdad?, la ciudad fue saqueada, todo, todo era de oro, sus platos eran de oro, sus vasijas donde cocinabas eran de oro, eh, sus, sus casitos donde tomaban sus atoles, los caldos, las sopas eran de oro, ¿verdad? Este, um, los platos hondos, ¿verdad? Es, se dicen en algunas otras partes. Sus cucharas, sus tenedores, eh, eh, los candelabros que habían en las mesas y muchos muebles, ¿verdad? Eran fino oro, ¿verdad? Entonces todo fue regresado. A las israelitas cuando regresaron, ¿verdad? Y había un hombre que se llamaba Ezra, que fue el que, com que fue comandado en su trabajo diplomático, ¿verdad? Porque trabajaba para, para el reino. Entonces, él fue y ayudó a la reconstrucción del templo y a estar otra vez en pie, ¿verdad? Y hablaba este, la Biblia también de un libro llamado Job. Uh, the Bible was talking in regards to the book of Job, right? And let us just stop right here. We come back uh, next time uh, because we, we think the importance of keeping um, the city clean, right? To, to create, vemos la importancia de mantener nuestra ciudad limpia. Eh, de crear este, una buena mente, de poder crear una mente buena. Eh, donde tengamos orgullo, where we can be proud of our cities, de nuestras ciudades. So, so we can uh, receive the tourists, para que nosotros podamos recibir los turistas. Eh, eh, with a clean city, con una ciudad limpia, where we can walk around, donde podamos nosotros caminar on clean lines, en líneas que están limpias, ¿verdad? And to cooperate and gather together to clean, ¿verdad? Y cooperar y ponernos juntos y va, e ir en grupos a limpiar la ciudad, ¿verdad? Because it's our city. Porque es nuestra ciudad. We have to remember that maybe the funds are not all there to put a lot of people to work and to have the work done at the right time, ¿verdad? Tenemos nosotros que entender que Muchas de las veces tal vez no va a haber mucho dinero para poner todas las gentes necesarias para que limpie la ciudad, ¿verdad? No, our surroundings, la ciudad, nuestros alrededores, en and, and, and everywhere where we are at, y donde quiera que nosotros andamos, ¿verdad? Y este, estamos diciendo, este, and we are saying, right, the importance and to be proud of helping out with, with, the, uh, with the clean lines of the city, and not just the clean lines, and, but to fix things around. Pero también de arreglar las cosas in the community, en nuestra comunidad, gathering together the neighbors, juntándonos los vecinos, in order to put remedy, para poner remedio, uh, probably things, uh, cosas que probablemente might affect, puedan afectar, en um, a near future, en algún futuro cercano, right? Y le vamos a dejar ahí, ¿verdad? Porque este, eh, 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 ya hicimos, ¿verdad? Un estudio de, de estos libros y vamos a seguir con los otros libros que siguen este, eh, un poquito después. El Lord bless you.